Eric, one, uh, how'd it feel to get your first touchdown? And I asked Teddy, was it intended for Noah or intended for you? From your vantage point, was it intended for you, or did you just make sure to go get it? What did, what did Teddy say? He said it was a touchdown. <laughs> it was a touchdown, man. That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, but no, I felt great. It's been a long time coming, and uh, something I thought about a lot. And for it to come to fruition, especially in a moment like that, it's pretty cool. Eric, Vic, uh, Vic said after the game that you were you got a game ball and because it was your first career touchdown, but also because you've been, he said, a great pickup, a glue guy for the for the young guys in that room. Um, you know, what does that mean to you? And just, just what have you enjoyed, I guess, most about being part of that group? Yeah, I mean, that means a lot. I love those guys like they're my brothers. And uh, getting to work with them every day is a blessing. Uh, appreciate Vic and George for taking a chance on me in, in free agency and uh, letting me be here. I, I really do love it here and I hope to keep winning games. Eric, what does it mean to you guys as an offense when you see Teddy tough it out and come back out there in the second half? I mean, we, ne we never question his toughness. That guy, he does it all, and he pushes through a lot, and he's been doing that all season. Um, I think it just, it just speaks to the type of guy and player he is. Um, all hats off to him for, for finishing that out. Hey, Eric, even with those replacement offensive line, you, you ran the ball pretty much at will today. You know, how impressed were you with those guys blocking next to him? Yeah, I mean, we, we, I think that speaks to our depth a lot. We got a lot of great players on this team and guys that stay ready when their number's called. Uh, so that's always cool to see, you know, working with these guys every day when they get a chance like that. Um, and, we, and we put up numbers like that, that's pretty cool to see. Coming out in the second half, you, Schlopman was the only reserve lineman left. So in the back of your mind, were you just hoping you didn't have to play tackle at some point? <laughs> that, like, crossed my mind for, like, a second. But I don't think, I don't think we're going to get there. <laughs> Ready if that happens, I guess, you know. All right, thanks, Eric. Cool, thanks, guys. Hey there. Uh, with, with, with so many new pieces on the offensive line, what was the key of, of staying together tonight? Um, I think it was just communication. Um, I think everybody that we have on this roster is ready, definitely. So um, it was good to see Moody and Quinn step up so, like, in such a big way. And um, yeah, I mean, we all communicated. We all stayed on the same page, and that helped a lot. What was it like when Teddy came back in and then that fi that scoring drive that put you up 21-7? Were you guys aware of kind of the significance or what he was dealing with with his injury? Um, I mean, we didn't we didn't know how serious Teddy's injury was. or I mean, I still am not 100% sure. But, uh, but I mean, it, it showed a lot of toughness by him to come back in there and um, lead us on a drive that was so big. And, I mean, anytime you score a touchdown, it's a big deal in the NFL. So it was a huge moment for us. When you've got – injuries that are dicing up the line, especially even during the game, losing Dalton. How much confidence do you guys get as a group when you're able to, to run a bunch of times, get going downhill and dictate rather than having it dictated to you? Um, yeah, I mean, anytime we get a chance to be truly physical in the run game and um, come at opponents instead of uh, pass protecting a ton, even though, I mean, both of it's part of the job. But um, we definitely like running a lot more than pass blocking for sure. With Lloyd Cushenberry, the only week one starter out there, was was he bigger? Did you take on kind of a more vocal role with you guys? Or what was the uh, kind of the group mindset leadership what, what, like entering the second half? Um, I mean, obviously Lloyd is always very vocal because he's the center. He's making all the calls. He's getting us all together and corralling us. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he he definitely stepped up for us. He was the only only guy not on the scout team, as we were saying, out there. So, um, yeah, he um, he did great to, to keep us on track. That's two. Was there any talk at, at halftime or in the second half when uh, Dalton's ruled out uh, and obviously Calvin's ruled out that Schlotman's the only guy, so do all you can to stay on the field because he's your only backup left? Um, no, there was no, there was no talk like that. Um, what does it do when, when Javante, early in the game especially, just gets these runs that you know he's breaking tackles, you guys are ending up down the field kind of pushing him along? What did just those runs kind of do for you guys as a group? Um, I think the biggest thing they do is um, encourage the coaches to call more runs, and that's a <laughs> and that's a big thing for us. I mean, we definitely want to want to run the ball. We want to be physical. We want to come downhill at opponents. And um, Javante is definitely a big a piece, big part of that. I'm sorry. Um, as long as as well as Melvin, like um, their runs, their their physicalness on those uh, on those runs help us out a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all.